Hey everyone, it's Jacqueline. Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, subscribe because I post a new video every single week. So for today's video, as you can see, it's going to be another painting challenge. For my last challenge, I did a painting where I only used my fingers and it actually turned out pretty good. I was pretty proud of myself. So for this other challenge, believe it or not, it's going to be much harder than that because I'm going to be painting with my non-dominant hand, which means instead of painting with my right hand, I'm going to be painting with my left hand. I will be using brushes this time, but honestly, I trust my fingers more than I do with my left hand with brushes. So yeah, this one is definitely gonna be an interesting one. Stay tuned if you wanna see how well I do. Okay, so I got all my paint right here. And then the painting that I'm gonna do, it's gonna be this one. I don't know if you guys can see because of my ring light, but actually I'll just put the photo right here so you guys can see it very clear. But yeah, that is the painting that I'm gonna try to recreate with my left hand. I'm gonna start with a yellow, probably the lightest one I have, which is this one. Guys, look at my palette. It has so much paint on it and I need to like wash it. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my big brush and we're just gonna go for it. This canvas is a bit smaller than the one that I used for when I did the finger painting. So I'm really sorry if you guys can't see it because I know it is tiny, but this is the only canvas that I have. Guys, I'm so dumb. I was painting with my right hand. Okay, good thing I realized that now at the beginning of the painting and not like in the middle of it because that would have sucked. <laughs> so from now on, I'm going to start painting with my left hand. I'm so sorry, guys. Okay, now it's kind of like an orangish color, but I'm going to mix this orange with the yellow that I already have right here because I don't want it to be too orange. I want it to still blend. Okay, so I'm going to go on the bottom right here. Okay, yeah, see, that's like a not much of an orange orange, but it's more of like a dark yellow. So that's what I wanted. That way it could blend right into the yellow just like how it is right now that's pretty good okay so it looks like it turns into like a purplish color at the top so I'm gonna get this purple Oh, uh, it kind of looks a little dirty. Like that definitely turned into a brown color. I think we're just gonna make it look brown at first and then we'll get it to that purple color eventually. I think going in with the light purple was not a good idea and I forgot that I had a dark purple so see now the purple is actually showing up I know it looks easy just going like side by side but the hardest thing about this is my patience because if I was doing my right hand I'd be doing this and I'd be doing this but since it's my left hand I don't trust myself to go that fast so I have to go slow okay you guys see how it's more purple that's exactly what I wanted so I'm happy now with it i'm satisfied so now we're gonna move on to the clouds that are in the background and i have a feeling that this one is gonna be so so hard so i'm gonna grab the white and then i don't want it to be too white so i am gonna mix it with orange this is so weird i have no idea how to move this brush I guess clouds aren't supposed to be perfect, so there's not much pressure for me right now with this. I mean, that looks like a cloud, right? Cute. <sighs> this is not looking good for me. I'm gonna outline them with purple, and then I'm gonna fill it in with white because I feel like that'll make it look like it has a little bit of a shadow. So trust the process. Ooh, 
Okay, so you see how these clouds are blended in, but then these aren't? So that's basically what I'm doing here. I know it looks way uglier up close. I'm sorry if you were expecting more from me, but here we go. So here's what I'm doing. I'm just putting white under, so that way it could blend into the sky. And it's been working, so that's what I'm doing with the rest of my clouds. And I'm gonna go under. Okay, so as you can see, the before and after of blending my clouds made a big difference. And I think it looks pretty good. So another thing I am going to do is I'm going to put some white on top of the clouds so it highlights the top even more. And we are done with the clouds. I'm so proud of them. I think they look really good. They look super blended in and I think I'm ready to move on. Okay, so next I'm gonna do that really bright sun. And now that I think of it, I probably should have done that first so I could do the cloud over it. This is gonna be hard, especially behind this cloud. We're doing it, doing it. Okay, that's how the sun turned out. We're gonna leave it like that for now. And then if I wanna come back and make it brighter, we'll do that. Okay, now we're gonna do this bottom orange, which is gonna be the floor slash grass field. And we're gonna dip into this orange right here. And the line is just below the sun. In that other painting, there are some trees in the background right here, so I'm going to do that now. Let's come back around and we're going to do the grass at the bottom. So it is mucky and brown, but we're just going to combine all of the colors together. So I am doing brown, orange, putting some yellow in there, and then of course some white. Okay, so here's my fan brush. Whoa. We're just going to pretend that we are the grass. I'm just doing the background with brown first before I get into that fan brush because I forgot that I do want the background to be brown. And I'm gonna add some black because I want it to be darker on this side. Okay, so my camera battery actually just died, but I did try to blend it in to that orange, as you can see, a little bit right here too. Up close, it looks like a disaster, but from far away, it does look a little bit more blended. Okay, I did the outline of the fence, and the reason why I couldn't show you guys is because I have to use my phone for reference, so I can't record and look at the picture at the same time. But now that I got the outline going on, I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna darken it and fix everything. So I'm just gonna outline it like this and draw another line. This is really hard because my hand is like shaking. I cannot do details with this left hand. And then it goes in and up and out and then it has like a little bumpy thing here and out
Okay, I'm getting a little too confident with my left hand because right now I was just like going ham on it and I wasn't thinking too much. And I did make the branches a little thicker what I originally outlined. So I do need to kind of be careful a little bit right now. I was just getting a little too excited. Okay, my battery is a little more charged now. So I am filming with my camera now. But while it was charging, I did put a few highlights over here. And then now I'm gonna go in with the white so I could really put more highlights around the tree so I'm just going with my white and then I'm going on these edges right here I'm gonna go again with my white Okay, I'm gonna go over the fence with some orange and yellow because again, we do want more of that faded look. Now we're gonna do the tree on the side over here. I'm mixing the green with the brown because I want the background of the tree to be pretty muddy. So I'm gonna mix it around. And I guess I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna go with the lighter green so the green can start popping out. Okay, here are what my tree leaves look like. And then here's my tree. And then as you can see, the fence is more blended in to the background. So I'm pretty much done with everything. I just need to do the main part, which is the swing. So hopefully that won't be too hard. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with black and I'm gonna use this sort of angle brush. And this is gonna be super hard to do the lines because they have to be super thin. So I'm just gonna do this very carefully. coming out a little squiggly. Okay, we did it. And then now we just need to do the little swing at the bottom. So another straight line, but it is thicker. So we can kind of relax on this one. Okay, now going in with dark brown, I'm gonna go over the swing. Okay guys, so I think my painting is finally done. This is me just using my left hand. When I first picked out this painting to do, um, I thought it was gonna be simple, and then I realized that this is actually not a simple painting at all. I should have chosen like a flower, like a single flower to do first. But then again, it was a fun challenge to do because this took a lot of time, but I did it. And I'm proud of myself, and I think it actually looks pretty cute. I love that I was able to get the purple on the top. I love that I was able to get the clouds to blend in. I am realizing that the little tiny trees that I put in the background right here, they did get covered by the big tree and yeah, I didn't realize that until now, but that's okay. My tree's a little lumpy, but I love it. I do like this tree. This one's pretty good. And then I don't think the sun is as bright as I want it to be. It's not really standing out, but I do still love it and I did add some details to the swing right here. Overall, this challenge was super fun. If you guys enjoyed it, please hit the like and subscribe button. And let me know if you guys like these art videos, if you want me to do more challenges. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.